So the teacher, their friend, and then finally they will swallow a bullet themselves. That is a desperate cry, a desperate cry for them to say to their parents and their teachers, something very important is missing. Who am I? Who is there to tell me who I am, where I come from, where I'm supposed to go? Those kids have no grounding on the spiritual side. Of course, they have religion, but that's going to confuse them even more. Plus, this new generation, uh, they, are not, they are not buying into religion like the old generation. Each generation uh, is different. You have the death wish generation born with Pluto and Scorpio. Those kids regenerate, those kids regenerate sex, drama, and, and so there is so, such a lack of spiritual values uh, that are missing. Now, you probably heard uh, of uh, uh, nowhere of this group which is, uh, which has created this movie, um, uh, I can't, I can't remember the title there. I think it's Nowhere, Going to Nowhere. Uh, somebody, somebody can help me maybe. Uh, it's a movie that is now going in every college, university, um, uh, going nowhere or something. Anyway, uh, I have tried to reach those people. I have tried to uh, explain to them the importance of bringing uh, spirituality uh, and to bring astro psychology as part of the curriculum in the teaching department, and none of these people have ever answered any of my emails. This is tragic because now the children are depraved of information, and, and, and if they don't regenerate, they're going to kill themselves and kill more more kids. And you could be sure there will be more kids killing other kids because they don't regenerate. Do I make sense? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Louis. Um, we have a question from Free Spirit. Yes, Dr. Tori. Um, going back to your cancer a little bit, <clears throat> you stated that on an interview that you felt your cancer was a result of unresolved anger at the world. You bet, you bet. Um, first of all, uh, you have to remember, when I was at the Royal School of Music in London, in England, I was also a breakfast chef. So I ate, uh, I don't know how many pigs I ate, and eggs, and uh, uh, bacon, and, and sausages. So I already plugged my arteries for at least 20 years on a steady base every single day. So you have to be careful of what you ingest. Um, but um, there is, that's the physical part of poisoning your body with food, because you are what you eat. But you have to be very cautious. Um, and you can also suffer, quoted, cancer, spiritual cancer, when you nurture fears or anger. These are human emotions that are very destructive for the well-being of your spirit. I used to take myself so seriously when I was trying to uh, explain to people what the stars were about, what the cosmic code was about, um, and knowing that they couldn't get it, I was going insane. Then I turned the TV, I turned the radio, and I hear all these apocalyptic promoter, all this conspiracy talking head, uh, the next thing, you know, I am here, I said, my gosh, you guys are crazy, you are killing this world, you are misusing the subconscious, you don't, you're not even conscious of what you're doing to the fate of humanity, and, and that used to get straight to my heart, and each time that energy used to go right in my gut. That's exactly what the cancer was. So when you look at it physically and spiritually, you can alter, again, I say it again, alter the atomic structure of your body. That's why it's so very important against yourself or against the world. Do not nurture negative thought. Do not feed evil. Do I answer you? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay, Dr. Turi, um um, I think we have one more question from Sandra. Sandra. Okay. Well, I have a few questions, to be honest with you. That's okay, Sandra. Uh, Go, ahead. Go ahead, honey. Uh, one of the questions I have, are you familiar with the book of Abram, Abramelum the Mage that's in the Bibliothèque over in Paris? The original was written, I believe, in 1458. 
Well, let me tell you the truth, honey. I am a writer. I write faster with two fingers than what you can read, and I never took a course in writing, and I never read anything. I don't have time to read. What I, what I do, I look at the title, I look at the front, and I look at the back, and I open the book in the middle, and I read just a few sentences. And very much all the time, I close the book. That may sound whatever you want, but you ask me a question, and I'm responding to the best of my honesty. I do not read any okay. material, which is probably a weakness because I probably would learn a few other things, but that's the way I was designed to talk, to communicate, to channel, and to pass on information. I guess I have no time to read. I could put that as a good excuse, Jim. Sorry. So, do you have another yeah, question? Uh, you've mentioned how... The Mercury retrograde with the Nostradamus method is different than the one that we traditionally use now. The mm -hmm. retrograde that is used by most people, it ended last Saturday. Can you tell mm -hmm. us how long this uh, Aries retrograde Mercury is going, going to go through the Nostradamus method? Well, uh, at the beginning, I used to follow those dates, uh, following the ephemeris or any uh, astrological software. Then I realized that... Uh, um, after the date, there was still uh, more Mercury retrograde uh, type of news, like a chain reaction accident, or uh, as I said earlier, NASA rescheduled the launch of the shuttle, which is also a Mercury retrograde motion uh, accident, all sorts of things. So I thought, I might have to do a, a little research on that. And then I realized that... Um, the modern astrology used uh, the Julian calendar, but Julius Caesar didn't want these politicians to be in control and in power for too long. So he actually changed the calendar. And by changing the calendar, he also upset the housing system and the timing of the planet motions. So when Mercury is retrograde, um, if you follow those Julian dates, completely not completely off, but it's it is off. So in my book Moon Power, I, I sometimes I go to a week or a week and a half before, or a week a week and a half after the traditionally given dates, because even my software, which is based upon the Julian calendar, could also be faulty, so to speak. So I have to use my intuition by um, uh, by being conscious of what's happening. And the fact is, uh, today, NASA rescheduled the launch of the shuttle. So if you understand the dynamics of what the Mercury retrograde is all about, then you have to actually realize that Mercury is still retrograde. Now, I can tell you Mercury is still retrograde because yesterday my wife and I, we went to the lake and um, we hit a rock. So Mercury was transportation. Uh, anything that moves got to be stopped. And my boat was stopped in the middle of the lake and I managed to, uh, to motor back uh, uh, very, very slowly. Um, so, so you have, if you, if you know your turf in astrology and what Mercury retrograde means, you will realize that we are still into this Mercury retrograde motion, which is perfect when you dwell with the spirit because it allows you to uh, introvertly look deeper into yourself. And when Mercury is retrograde, it allows you also to spiritually and psychically connect with anybody dwelling with the spirit. So everything is working in our favor because I fully believe Mercury is still retrograde. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I have one last question. Uh, without knowing your terminology as well as I should, you explained how knowing someone's chart gives you information on where they're coming from. Could you tell mm -hmm. us, Phil, that you have that come from your chart that uh, you have to deal with in giving information out the, to the world? Um, you might have to repeat that question. Is it from my chart or your chart? Well, you have our chart on how we're perceiving, but you would also have your chart on how you're presenting to where uh, okay, it would be. 
Okay. Well, first of all, I was born in February, okay? And I was born February 26th. So you are not just one sun sign. You are every single sign of the zodiac each time you flip into a different house. Do I make sense? Yes. Now, you have only six signs of the zodiac. You don't have 12. You have only six. And the opposite on one sign creates the other side. So if, if for example, you don't know me and you see me on stage, um, you will you will intuitively think, well, Dr. Tree must be a Leo, correct? Yes or no? Because because Leo rules the stage and ego and whatever it is. So you present yourself on the other side of the sign that you were born in. So if you are a cancer you present yourself to the world as a Capricorn. If you are an Aquarius, you present yourself to the world as a Leo. If you are a Pisces, you present yourself to the world as a picky, fussy Virgo. If you are an, an, an Aries, you will present yourself as a Libra. And if you are a Libra like Lolly, then you will present yourself as a competitive, sometimes aggressive Aries. So my teaching are totally, totally unique. So uh, whatever you have learned in astrology is phenomenal, and you keep it. But you leave it outside, and then you add my teaching to your to whatever you have learned, and that increases drastically your repertoire of wisdom, and that's called astro psychology. Do I answer you? Yes, you did. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Dr. Turi. Um, as we close this interview, we just wanted to see if you had any final thoughts you wanted to share with us and our forum members and the world. Well, basically, the first thing I want to do is, Jill, is to thank you and to thank warmly all the, uh, the, the attendants here today because uh, your questions have helped me to even dig deeper into me. So, Lolly, Fox, Fritz Spirits, Patrick, and Sandra, one more time, thank you so much for your very interesting question. I'd like to finish by repeating one more time, and I did that all along tonight. Please. Please do not feed evil. Work with me because we have been given a chance to control the outcome of our destiny. We are not doomed. So the idea with my work is to see and hear God in action through his divinity and his celestial creation. That is something that Jesus was trying to teach us and sad enough was taken away from humanity. And my mission is to free humanity from ignorance and from fears and raise their cosmic consciousness. One more time, God bless you, all of you, for helping me in passing on my message to the world. Well, thank, thank you for your time tonight, Dr. Turi. Mercy. I hope it's been enjoyable for you as it has been for us. If not, ma chance. Bad luck, sir. Your mission statement states that your goal is to free humanity from fears and reintroduce God's universal faith, science and cosmic tools. The French writer Antoine de saint Oxbury said, Your task is not to foresee the future, but to enable it. Sometimes mistaken for your unique and somewhat flamboyant French style, in the end, not only do you forecast the future, but you try to help people enable theirs by helping them to understand the cosmic codes. On behalf of Fox and all the members of the Webbot Forum, thank you, Louis. May you and Tariana continue to live a good life and have many pies to come. Merci and au revoir. Au revoir. Merci, au revoir, Dr. Thierry. <laughs> well, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your input, guys. You really made me work hard, but uh, it was worth it. Uh, know that I didn't hear those questions before in, in 40 years that I do this job, but uh, you, you have challenged myself here. Thank you so much. Now, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Thank, Bye Thank you, Fox. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. <sighs>